chapter 15, Mishnah 2. The Mishnah discusses two Oralim that touch each other. Two wooden boards touch each other at their corners. And they are each a tefach above the ground and a tefach square. Thus, each board is large enough to be an ohel. If there is tuma, i.e. a piece of a corpse, under one board, that board is tame since it is an ohel over the tuma. A person who touches that board becomes tame for seven days. Since the second board is touching the ohel, the second board also becomes tame, and someone who touches the second board also becomes tame with seven-day tuma. The Mishnah discusses whether utensils under the boards become tame. Utensils under the first board, i.e. the board over the corpse, are tame, since they are beneath the same ohel as a corpse. But utensils under the second board are tahor, since the boards touch only at their corners, which are smaller than a tefach, they do not combine into a single ohel. Thus, the tuma does not spread from the corpse beneath the first board to utensils beneath the second. The Mishnah discusses another case in which two oholim touch each other but do not combine to form a single ohel. The case involves a table that was created by placing a tabletop, which is a flat board, on top of a base, which is a four-walled box open at the top and bottom. It was common for the tabletop to extend beyond the base by a tefach or more. Thus, the tabletop forms two oholim, one inside the base and the other outside the base, under the tabletop's ledge. The ledge of a tabletop does not act as an ohel to spread tuma unless it extends past the base for at least a tefach square, although the area inside the base is an ohel, since it is certainly larger than a tefach square, it does not combine with the space under the ledge, since the two areas are separated by the walls of the base. Therefore, the ledge must be at least a tefach square in order for it to be considered an ohel on its own.